Hey guys, welcome back with another video based on cookies in Django. So cookies are small pieces of data stored in the user's browser to help websites remember information between the visits. It can be login status, your let's say user preferences, shopping cart items, etc. In Django, cookies are used to store temporary or small pieces of information on the client side, allowing the server to personalize the user experience without relying on databases. So, there are certain common examples of using cookies uh, that includes saving your user preferences like you want to change the theme or language, counting the page visits, Temporarily storing shopping cart data and remembering user actions across different pages. So in this video, we are going to learn about the basic setting up of cookies, fetching of cookies and deleting the cookies. Let's get started. Alright, so now we have to create three functions that will be responsible for setting the cookie, for fetching the cookie and for deleting the cookie. So let's create our first function as set cookie. You need to pass the request argument. You need to set one response. An HTTP response indicating some message that cookie has been set something like this then after this you are required to use the built-in method called as set cookie okay so now you don't have to be confused between this function and the method because this is a user defined function and this is the built-in function that will allow us to set the cookie it has three parameters first one is the name that is the key and second is its value let's say i would like to have a name a key as name and whose value is manoj and third parameter is the duration for which you want to set that cookie and that's let's say maximum age so this is you are required to put let's say Let's say I'll put here 300. Now, what is this? This is 300 seconds. You can also set the multiple cookies by using the response once again and use the set cookie method. And let's say you want another key that is marks. Let's say the marks scored are 90. You want its max age to be, let's say, 300. Now you have to return the response. Nice. Now let's create a URL for the same. So for this, we are going to set the path. Let's say I would like to have set hyphen cookie as my URL. The function name that I want to call is set cookie. All right. A server is already running. I'll do one thing. I'll just change this value to, let's say, 30 seconds. Okay, I'll tell you the reason why I'm changing this value. I just need a short value, a small value here, so that I can show you that cookie is set for... Uh, actually set for only this much time so i have set it for 30 seconds let's see so our url is ready let's go to set cookie so you need to put here set cookie it says cookie has been set now how to fetch the cookie you need to open the inspect element And here you are required to, there is one option called as application, right? 
So that's the application. You need to click here cookies and you will be able to see this link here. And if you are able to see your cookie is not available anymore anyhow because it was set for only 30 seconds i'll just set it once again now if you are able to see the cookie has been set name manoj marks 90 for 30 seconds let's wait for 30 seconds and we can verify that yeah the cookie is really set for only 30 seconds and not more than that so we need to refresh you. Okay, so 30 seconds are not yet over. Let's wait for a while. Nice. So the cookie has now been deleted. By the way, we are also required to create a function that will be responsible for fetching the cookie here on our browser. Let's create another function that will fetch our cookie. So I'll create a function with the name get cookie pass the request argument. Now, since we got two cookies over here, we need to create two variables. So I'll just have one variable as cookie value one. How to fetch it? You need to use the request use request and you have to use the cookies dictionary cookies c double o k i e s uh, all these letters need to be capital cookies dot get the first one is name then you got another one as cookie value two. use request dot cookies dot get so this is going to fetch your marks cookie after this, you can also check a condition that if the cookie is not available, then you can have that it's not there. And if it's there, then it would show the value of the cookie. So you can have if cookie value 1 or cookie value 2. Return an HTTP response. You can use an F string. The cookie value, or you, or you can say values are cookie value one and cookie value two. Or else it will be HTTP response no cookie found so we can create another url for the same use path get cookie call your function views dot get cookie so our server is already working So let's take a look on the browser. So since the cookie has already been deleted, what we have to do is we need to set it once again by going to set cookie. So I'll just set the cookie and immediately I want to get this cookie. So you get the values as Manoj and 90. Now next is how we can delete our cookie. You need to use delete cookie as the request response. You need to set a response, HTTP response that cookie has been removed or deleted. Then use delete cookie function. So once again, you don't have to be confused between this and this because one is a user-defined function, another one is a built-in method. So you would like to have, let's say you only want to delete just one cookie, that is name, and uh, you don't want to delete the other one. 
return a response. Now let's create a URL for the same. Let's say delete hyphen cookie. Call your function delete cookie. So for better understanding, I'll change now this value to, let's say now change this value to 300 because uh, because otherwise we won't be able to check or verify the functionality of your delete cookie method. So we need to set the cookie for at least five minutes. So right now if you are getting the cookie, you see that no cookie found. So first of all, you need to set the cookie once again. Set the cookie. Now you get the cookie. Now your cookie is set for at least five minutes. Now you can easily check the functionality of delete cookie method. Now let's write here delete hyphen cookie, which is our URL. Cookie has been removed. And now if for verifying, you once again go to get cookie. You see that the cookie that is deleted is not available anymore, but the other one is available. You can also check it from the inspect element by going to so here you can see that marks are available but name cookie is not available anymore. 